First Samuel. Bring it in. In the book of Samuel, a mother had prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed for a child. She was mocked, even thought to be crazy. Because in those days, he did not have a male child who was looked at upon as an applicant. This woman prayed for a son. She says here in 1 Samuel, chapter, 20, chapter 1, verse 27, she says, For this child I prayed, and the Lord hath granted me my petition, my petition, which I asked of him. Therefore also I lent him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be lent to the Lord. So they worship the Lord there. I want you to know that your children are not yours. Amen. They're on loan from the Father. Yeah. Amen. And how you treat them, amen, while they're here on this earth says a lot about you and about your relationship with God. We are to command them to bring our children back to the Lord. So this time we're going to bring Michael. Meyer is going to bring him forward. And we are going to christen him this morning. And they're not baptized babies. Babies don't have a mind of their own yet. Yes, Amen. We christen them. We offer them back to the Lord. So as the Michael comes and his mother comes, I'll come back to the Lord. I want you to know that this is no small matter. This is why the angel is asked that you come stand with me, please. He is one of our children from old school. Amen. 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 So she's here to offer up her child. I want you to know this is not a light thing. Amen. Because what you're saying, in essence, is that you're going to bring this child up in the fear and the admonition of the Lord that you are going to grant God's wishes in this child's life and offer this child back to God, which means, consequently, that not only will you bring him, but you will come with him and you will give the very best that you have in bringing this child up to the statue of God. Angela, is that your desire to offer your child back to the Lord? It is at this day that we offer this child back to God, which means that this child is in God's providence, and God is watching over this child of such when this child is able to make up his own mind as to which way it will go. But if you teach it, you sing to it, you give it the scriptures of God, when the time is right, that child will not depart from the word of God. Give us your child's full name. Yeah, Michael. Michael Aaron Myers Jr. Okay. And uh, give us your full name. Angelia Renee Allen. And give us the name of the father. Michael Aaron Myers Sr. Amen. And uh, Sister Wyatt. Sister Thornton Wyatt is standing in with her <coughs> daughters. Amen. And uh, so we're going to lift this child back up to God. I'm going to ask Pastor Keith if we come and anoint the baby for me, please. and the mother. Amen. Lord, it is at this time that we dedicate this baby back to 
to you. She came out of our flesh, but we offer her him back to you in, in the spirit. And we ask your God that your holy holiness would watch over and keep him safe from day to day when he grows up, that he will not only be a goodly son, son but a godly son, and that, Lord, you will help him grow up in the fear and the admonition of the Lord. I, my mother, I am his mother, dear God, and I shall bring him to the house of the Lord. So we thank you, dear God, for the offering of this child back to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, Angelia, right, raise your right hand. I, Angelia, bring my child, give us his full name, and present him to the Lord this day. I grant the Lord will watch over him. Keep him from all sicknesses and dangers. I give my son as an offering, recognizing that God is the great I am. And he's the one that gave me this gift. So I, in return, offer back my son to his glory. Thank you, Lord, for what you have given me. It is a gift from on high. And I thank you all the days of my life. Watch over my other children and give me strength in the midst of my storm. Lord, today is the day of salvation. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. nothing to do 
with salvation. Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. You see, confession is made with the mouth and must go into the heart. The heart of the matter is, is that you and I cannot play with God. Amen. You either love him, no. You either are in love with him, or you are not. Many of y'all treat God like he's your boyfriend. Uh -oh. Not cool. Turn it on and turn it off. Uh -huh. I like you today, I hate you tomorrow. Uh -huh. yeah. But God is a provider and he takes care of us each and every day, no matter how nasty you are, no matter how good you are, no matter how much you cuss him out and curse him by his name, he still takes care of you. Can I get an amen? amen. Matter of fact, he comes to your house more than you come to his house. Oh, Lord, say that again. He comes to your house uh -huh. more than you come to his house. I'm guilty. And yet he still shows up right on time. Yes, he does. Oh, somebody ought to talk with Amen. me. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. King Nebuchadnezzar was nobody frivolous. He was Amen. a great king, nasty as he was. Amen. Yeah. Cold, calculated killer. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 But he needed God. Yes. Yes. And I want to tell you, some of y'all are cold yes. and calculated. Yes. Yes. You won't need Jesus along the way. Yes. King needed to find a savior. Amen. Yes. Yes. Now we know that he took these Four Hebrew boys, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from their own country. How can I sing in a strange way? Uh -huh. yeah. But these young boys, they purposed in their hearts from the time they were young that they would not defile the Lord's body. Here they are. Uh -huh. When the whole world was going to get ready to be slain by the king. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was getting ready to murder all his astrologers, all his soldiers. Uh -huh. All his old palm readers. Mm. And I want you to know, all y'all that have that fortune cookie mentality. <laughs> you can break the cookie, but the fortune is not true. Amen. In fact, those fortunes are made up by a machine, amen? amen. Not by the word of God, amen? amen? And I just dropped by to tell you that you must understand that you won't need a savior sooner than later. Amen. Yeah. 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 I want to talk with me here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, the king had a dream. Huh? And he asked all everybody in the kingdom, all his little boys, his little posse. See, before he would have told him the dream, but this time, Mike, he threw him a curve. Yeah. Yeah. Said, what I need you to do is interpret, tell me what the dream was, yeah. and then go and interpret the dream for me. Yeah. Well, yeah. can y'all just bear with me? I'm going somewhere. <laughs> hey, man, I'm going, huh? He found out that, that, that they were not true, amen, that they did not know the future, amen, amen. And so he said, if you, they said to the king, oh, king, now you know, can't nobody tell you what dream, what you dreamed about. Well, he said, oh, well, if you can't tell me, I guess you're just going to die. Yeah. So the orders went out, and they found Daniel. Oh. Yeah. Shadrach. Mm. Meshach. Meshach. And Abednego. And Abednego. All right. Amen. They, they, they were of a different world. Amen. 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 They were separated to do the word and the work of God. Yeah. And, and the word went out and Daniel said, well, what's all this commotion? You know, I, I ain't got no life sentence on me. Amen. Yeah. But, but I'll tell you what, I'll talk to my God about it. Mm -hmm. And he took Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to Miss Linda. He went home. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. And prayed to God. And God interpreted the dream for him. Told him what the dream was. Interpret the dream for him. Uh -huh. Make a long story short, because out y'all probably done read this anyway. I don't want to go ahead and call this. But when they interpreted the dream and told the dream, the, the, the king got happy. Uh -huh. Yeah. He was astounded that they were able to not only give him the dream, Caleb, but also able to interpret the dream for him. Amen. 
And when they did, Minister uh -huh. Mike, he began to worship Daniel. Uh huh. Come on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. He began to worship Daniel. And I just want to say to somebody never worship the man. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. Worship the God that the man came sir, in the name of. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 We see here, amen, that 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 that, that over there in, in chapter three. Uh, chapter 3, it was left, amen. He says, Nate King Nebuchadnezzar in verse uh, 46 says he fell on his face, uh -huh. prostrate before Daniel. Uh -huh. I'm going to tell you something. You're going to fall prostrate before on your faith. You're going to fall before the Almighty. Come on. Yeah. 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 And he says here, and he commanded that they should be, uh, present an offering in incense to him. Amen. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. Whatever you do for Christ uh -huh. is going to last. Amen. Amen. Now, he had a form of worship, uh -huh. but denied the power yeah. thereof. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Listen to me. I don't want any of you following me. What I want you to do is follow me as I follow Christ. There you go. Amen. Amen. So if it don't look right, don't do right. Amen. If it's by scriptorial, then you do it. Amen. If it's not, you gotta read your Bible a little bit. Well, you end up you end up like Jim Jones and his crew. Amen. 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 Well, he acknowledged God. And there are many of us who acknowledge God, but we don't know Him. Amen. You see, it's not enough to know about Him. Come on, come on, come on. You must know Him. For yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It's not about your mama. No. Not about your daddy. Not about your pastor, your teacher, your preacher, your whatever it is in your household. It's not about them. It's about you. Yeah. And your relationship with God. Yeah. You see, it never reached the king's heart of whose he was. But he needed to be saved. And there's many people in our family that need to be saved. Amen. 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 You've been to church. Lord knows you've been to church. Huh? You've been there ever since you was a little school button. Amen. Now you all grown up. But the word of God has never reached in your heart. Listen to me. It is easy to come to church, but it's hard to find Christ in the yeah, church. Baby. Oh, yeah. Dang. Oh, y'all. Yeah. 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 How many disciples did he have? And they went to the school of theology with him for over three years. But they did not know him by the power of his resurrection. Yeah. Come on, talk with me. They knew that he could touch the sick. They knew that he could raise the dead. They knew that when Christ spoke that water could be turned into wine, they knew all that. And yet they did not know him. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The reason why you keep doing what you're doing is because you don't, don't know, know him. him. Know and guess what? If you leave him, uh -huh. you will go back doing what you were doing previous before you met Christ. Yeah. And now that it might get worse for you. Yeah. Huh? Oh, that can't happen. Ask me what happened to the 12 disciples. Amen. One of them turned him in for some change of things. Amen. Amen. The other 11 went right back doing what they were doing. Y'all read, read the scripture, don't you? One day he had to have fish fry up on the, up on the back. And he called him out for breakfast. Amen. What were they doing? They were fishing. The same day that he found him the first time, they didn't have no fish. When he came out and made fish, I wonder where he get his fish from. <laughs> Amen. He was cooking fish on, on, the, on the banks of the shore. Call him in, they were still empty. And I want to suggest to you, until you find Jesus, you will always be empty. All right. Come on, talk with me, somebody. Talk with me, somebody. So we are here in this fourth chapter trying to get a king to be saved. Amen. You know, one of the things I realize, I can't make anybody do anything. Mm. You either going to do it, or you're not. 
And ain't no sense of me leaving up, losing no sleep. Wow. Over. The best I can do is pray for you. Amen. 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 And you ought to be glad that there's some folk, in spite of your hateful, nasty, rugged, dirty self, that still want to pray for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, come Thank on now. Y'all don't, don't want to hear me today. But yeah. guess what? Come the on. king thought that he was all that. Yeah. You know, the statue that God gave him was a representation of something. There was the gold, there was the silver, huh? There was the bronze, there was the clay, stubble, wood and hay mm -hmm. at the bottom. And you know what? A statue is only as strong as what's on the bottom. Amen. That's that right. If your foundation yes, come on, preach. ain't right, mm -hmm. yeah. the rest of it will fall. Amen. And the, the thing of the statue was with the, that God was trying to get the king to see. That you represent me. Amen. Yeah. I am the gold. Uh -huh. And if you get rid of the gold, you will lose everything in your kingdom. Yes. Yeah. Because there is no other mi mineral on this earth stronger than the gold that I possess. Mm -hmm. Come on, talk with me. Uh -huh. And this world has depleted. We are now down to the mud, yeah. the miry clay, yeah. the wood, and the stubble in which we live in right now. Yeah. But the king, Pastor Key, <coughs> thought that he was all that. Yeah, he did. Huh? Mm -hmm. Went out one day and said, look what I've done. Mm -hmm. Look what I built. Uh -huh. I did this all by myself. You gotta be very careful about thinking more highly of yourself uh -huh. than you should. Uh -huh. Get off them toes fast. For I say that every man uh -huh. must depend on the grace of God. Amen. Yeah. But he, this king, was so full of himself that he did it. He said, Daddy. "I believe I'm just gonna sit back and look at everything that I had, that I made, that I created." Uh -huh. And it was at that point that God interrupted his program. Uh -oh. Huh? Am, am I right about it? Yeah. God said that, told him, I'm going to give you a space to repent. Amen. Yeah. Aren't you glad that God gave you a space to repent? Amen. For 12 months, 365 days. He gave him a space to repent. Well, and God, whether you want to admit it or not, has given all of us a space to repent. Amen. How long? How many chances has God given you to repent? Every time. And you still have not repented. Amen. Yeah. Revelation says, I gave her a space to repent, uh -huh. but she repented not. Uh -huh. So I gave her over to a reprobate mind to let her do what's pleasing. Has God ever let you do what you want to do? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a sad state. That's a sad state of affairs. Amen. When God lets you go, let you go. Listen. At your worst hour, can you not see what that you crazy? Mm. Amen. Yeah. And yet, does God honors you enough to let you make your own decision, even though it's against your better judgment? Oh, yeah. yeah. What was that you were singing about? You said something about we were created. What? What you were singing about here earlier? Really? Would you say it was? Praise. That's what we were saying. That, that, that we we were created that for that. You think of it now. <laughs> Amen. You done said it all morning. Yeah. Huh? DNA. You didn't know, say that. <laughs> but you said it. It don't come back to me. I'm old. It's, it's, it's in our DNA. Our, Amen. Yeah. DNA. But what I'm saying, yeah, your DNA. There you go. I knew somebody was <laughs> yeah. I didn't hear nobody in <laughs> the plasma, uh -huh. the infusion of the Holy Ghost, 
seven years yeah. one year I could have been done with it been and had it over with mm -hmm. but I wouldn't repent mm. I had to pay the cost uh, yeah. mm -hmm. because I did the seven <coughs> years Woo. and I wonder is there anybody in here that is paying the cost of your sins well. because you will not repent. Mm. Listen yeah. to me now. Listen to me now. Don't don't get too high because you know, Pastor, I had to examine myself. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. I had to examine myself. See, there's some things that you won't be willing to come to God with and say, God, I've messed up. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And that's why you're in the state that you're in because you've got too much pride Amen. Amen. Come on, to admit that you messed it up. Amen. Uh -huh. Huh? Yeah. Amen. Oh, y'all not hearing me. I've been through some things in life. Yeah. I ain't always been all that. Uh -huh. huh? Yeah. God had to take me through some things. Uh -huh. God told him, I'm getting ready to chop your tree down. Woo! But you done got a little bit too high for your bridges. Yeah. Talk with me, somebody. You got to be careful about messing up the stuff that God gives you. Yeah. Come on, son, I'm talking to somebody. I don't know who I'm talking to you, but you're about ready to mess up everything that God gave you. God said, cut it all off. Cut him down. What I want you to do I want you to leave the stump. When I read that, I was shocked. Wow. Come on. He said, go ahead and cut the tree down. Sister Gary, you know them big old tall trees you got down there? He said, cut them down. Amen. But what I want you to do is just leave the stump and the roots in the ground. Yeah. 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 I said, I'm going to work behind the scenes. I'm going to work behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah. See, I can't work with you because you're too high-minded. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. So I got to work under the earth. Yes. Amen. Talk with me, somebody. Amen. I cut a tree down up at my, by my pool, my pool the other last year. Uh -huh. And I thought, well, that's the end of it. Uh -uh. Amen. Next thing yeah. I knew, that I had to cut that thing back down again. It <laughs> yeah. was trying to be a tree on me again. Yeah. Come on, talk with me. Uh -huh. Just because you cut the tree down and you don't remove the stump, it's uh -huh. still going to grow. Uh -huh. And that made me excited. Uh -huh. 
Uh-huh. That made me excited when I found out that God, that's how God yes. treats us. When uh -huh. we get too high-minded yes. and when the worldly good, uh -huh. God will cut us out. Amen. 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 God said, well, for seven years, Jessica, he ran around like a wild man. Mm. Amen. Yeah. He was so dirty here, Bessie, that it said that his flesh looked like feathers. Mm. Uh -huh. mm -mm. You know how people don't comb their hair, get all mad, what they call that? Naps. Dreads. He had dreaded skin. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. Didn't nobody want to be like he didn't have no air person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was stinky. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, some of well, some, so were some of us. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 And the Bible says, Sister Gail, that he had claws like a bird. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. you, I don't think you heard me. He did not have fingernails. Claws. He had claws, uh -huh. yeah. which means, you know, like that big old toe you got that's all jacked up, messed up, oh, look like a claw. <laughs> he had them on his hands. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. Amen. The claws will rip you. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Listen to me. Listen to me, preacher. He was a little rough. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> he was dirty. Mm -hmm. Nasty. Mm -hmm. Listen, acting like an ox, oh, God. rolling around, Jalen, uh -huh. in the grass, eating the grass. Uh -huh. Somebody say, well, I don't know nobody like that. You ever seen a crackhead? Oh. Oh. Listen to me, I ain't just talking about them. Oh. Uh -huh. But you ever see anybody on, on that fleet? Uh -huh. Huh? They will run through a car. Uh -huh. yeah. They will bend over backwards. Ooh. They're, what they call them, contortionists? Uh -huh. Man, they, they move some parts I ain't never seen anybody move before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the devil will have you acting like a man, maniac out there in this world. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Preach. You ever been drunk? No. Uh -huh. no. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It'll make you crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. You'll say and do things that you normally wouldn't say. And it'll give you confidence to do things. Amen. Come on, talk to uh, somebody. Uh, I'm going to ask this question here today. <laughs> how long will you get? How long will you act like a maniac? Amen. Yeah. Uh, one year confession could have stopped it all. Come on, Pastor. Now you're seven years into your sin. Amen. Yeah. Said that he lost. It's mine. Uh, you see, when you leave God, you done lost your mind. Amen. For what man says there is no God? Uh -huh. Only a fool has said in his heart that there is no God. He lost his mind, just like the prodigal son who left his father's house. Uh -huh. Went out into the world, yeah. and it was only after he was hungry. Yeah. I wonder what God's going to have to do to you before he gets your attention. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh you're arrogant. You act like you don't need, you act like this word doesn't, doesn't belong to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're on my yeah. street. Everybody else, Pastor, I'm glad right you know so-and-so should have been here. Come on. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So-and-so should have been here to hear, no, you should have been here to hear this message. Yeah. 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 Because it's for you and it's for me. Amen. And there ain't none of us escaping the word of God. Amen. Come on, talk with me, somebody. Amen. But I'm glad that God, Brother Bodie, left the stump yes. in the ground and the root. In the ground. Amen. Aren't you glad, Mike, that God works underground? Yeah. You see. I, I, I saw this. It says, let it be wet uh -huh. with the dew. Uh -huh. yeah. You see, God can work from the inside out. Amen. He don't have to work from the outside in. Amen. And when God undergirds you with the dew, uh -huh. that's why Israel didn't know what they were doing when God fed them with the dew. Uh -huh. Remember, every morning, yeah. The dew came. Uh -huh. And aren't you due Dude. for your blessing now? Yeah. If you would pick up the dew, Not if you would accept the dew, amen, the root will grow. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, dude. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Bible says this 
this was after he had been, all this he's talking about, he's already been saved now. Yeah. But he's taking you back to a time that he knew that God had to straighten him up. Uh -huh. King never can never need to be converted. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You know, God will help you to come back and explain where you was at. Uh -huh. It's not your testimony to keep you yourself. Yeah. Never can never had to come back and say, I remember a day uh -huh. when I was in my palace yeah. thinking I was all that. Uh -huh. And I said, look what I have done. And God yeah. cut me down. Amen. Yeah. And I had to go out there in the world and I had to fend for myself. Uh -huh. The reason why you don't have what you need is because you have you will not acknowledge God. Amen. Yeah. yeah. As giving you everything that you have. He will supply Amen. all of your needs. According to his riches and glory. In fact, you won't even give God a dime. <clears throat> oh, snap. Come on. You work every day. You don't give God his 10%. Come on. Yeah. You don't acknowledge God for nothing. Go ahead. Fact. You don't even act like God's giving you anything. Woo! Yeah. Come on. Yes, sir. It wasn't about a year ago. Uh -huh. Sister Joan was in another situation. Yeah. She went out to go pick some flowers. Uh-huh. I don't care what it was, he's trimming something. <laughs> A normal day. But something happened. That one little act caused a whole lot of other things to happen. And I know in her mind there were times when she felt like, oh, I can't do this. No more. But guess what? The stump was in the ground. And it was still growing. And because she allowed God to work with her for life. See, sometimes when we're in that way, that means that God wants to have a little talk with us. See, you can talk to God more through your calamity than you ever can the time when everything's going all right. Let me ask you a question. Last time something happened, did you get on your knees and ask God? Amen. If nothing else, you said, why me? Amen. He said, why not? Amen. But I want to tell you something. As long as the stump is in the ground, you're going to be all right. Amen. You and I are going to have to trust in the Lord. My minister, Keith, in this, this morning, Revelation, he said, Revelation 16 says, and Jesus has sent my angels to testify to you these things in the churches. Amen. I am, amen, of the offspring of David. Yeah. The bright. I'm the root of the offspring of David. I am, amen, the bright and the morning star. Can I get an amen? Amen. I know that I've been cut down, but I'm just waiting on my season. Amen. Amen. It's my season to be blessed. God made me a promise, and I stood the test. He gonna open the window, pour me out a blessing. Cause it's my season to be blessed. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. As long as you've got the stump, uh -huh. which represents the foundation yeah. in the ground. Who is my foundation? Jesus. The Lord our God. Amen. This God that I serve is able to keep me. The picture of Jesus, the son, offspring of Jesse. Amen. The stem, the root of the tree. It's still there. Amen. 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 I took some time off from God uh -huh. when I became a teenager. Uh -huh. I left the church. Uh -huh. Went on and did my thing. Uh -huh. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Lost my mind. Yeah. Amen. Thought I was going to be all right. Yeah. 
I was prospering, everything was going my way. Amen. Had everything, brother Eddie. Amen. Me and my wife. Amen. Had free, brand new cars. Had a bank account with cars in it. Amen. With cars all in my pocket. So many cars. Like I ran it up to its limit. Amen. Forgot about. Amen. The sooner or later, you gotta pay for them cars. Amen. I just kept on charging, charging. Amen. Charge this and charge that. Sister White had clothes in her closet. Sister Lynn still had price tags on it. Can I get an amen? Can I get a hallelujah? But I would not acknowledge God. Amen. My mama kept telling me, you need to give it back to God. I kept saying, what did God have to do with this? Amen. I've got everything that I need. Amen. Well, it wasn't long after I said that, I found myself in bankruptcy. Come on, brother. Preach. Yeah. Yeah. I know something about bankruptcy. Talk with me somebody. What do you do when you're bankrupt? Huh? Go get help. Who you got to depend on when you go bankrupt? You can't depend on family and friends. Amen. As long as he knew what happened to the prodigal son, as long as he had what he had, but did anything for him. As soon as he began to be in want, no man gave to him. This world can't give you anything. So here I was, bankrupt. Uh -huh. Mama said, you might want to look again. Uh -huh. yeah. You might want to consider this Jesus thing yeah. again. Yeah. Brother Phil, in the 70s, me and my wife was making $150,000 in the 70s. Yeah. That's pretty good money. Huh? Uh -huh. But we didn't have Jesus. Amen. Yeah. And God took it all away, Sister Heidi. Yeah. Yeah. Took it all away. Took the cars. Mm -hmm. Took the house. Yeah. Took everything away. Took the job. Made things so bad that, you see, I don't, don't be afraid to tell from where you came from. Amen. Yeah. It, 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 it came so bad at work that I had to quit the job because it was just too hard. Amen. My wife yeah. lost her job. And it was left. Mm -hmm. With nothing. Yeah. Nothing from nothing. Yeah. Please not <laughs> But you got to have something uh -huh. if you want to be with Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. When I went to North Ohio, my aunt kept telling me there's a preacher down there that needs somebody to run. His housing product projects. Amen. Man, I ain't got time. I don't want to hear nothing about the Lord. Y'all, yeah. y'all listening to me? Yeah. I don't want to hear nothing about the Lord. I ain't going down there. Uh -huh. Well, when God started sh closing doors uh -huh. well, and the bills uh -huh. started being due, yeah. you'll have a different Amen. change of yeah. mind. Yes, you you won't work. Amen. Yeah. And so I went down there hey. and the told me, so we ain't going to be able to pay you with. You used to make it. Uh -huh. We could probably give you 1950. Yeah. Uh -huh. I want you to hear me. Couldn't even get 50. You got 1950. I didn't get no 20. I got 1950. Uh -huh. yeah. I went from 150 1950. to 1950. Yeah. Do the math. <laughs> God is a mathematician. And I can't tell you. One day my wife said she had a dream and in spite of me being locked up in my bills, due bills, all kinds of bills came in. Folk I didn't even know sent me a bill. And this little 19,000 wasn't going to do it. Amen. So I had to file bankruptcy. Uh -huh. yeah. See, that was a matter of pride for me. Amen. Yeah. You ain't alone. I've always been one that worked all my life. I didn't need yeah. nobody to help me. Yeah. But I got myself in a position, Amber, mm -hmm. that no one else could help me out of. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> not my church, not my family. Well, I didn't have a church. So. <laughs> but my mama was praying for me. Yeah. My mama kept telling me, you need to give your life to Christ. Yeah. Sister Pauletta, one day I took her up on her invitation. Yeah. Yeah. It was Easter Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. I just came out of bars. Yeah. Ah, 
Uh, what do you mean? Pastor was at the bar. Yeah, some of, so were some of you. Uh, Amen. I, no, no. I ain't always been saved. Preach. Yeah. But this Sunday morning, uh, I went to church. Yes, sir. And the sermon was all over. Yeah. Preacher done been ah. preaching. Uh -huh. But I sit in the back pew over there with Sister Joe. It's the last pew in, uh -huh. in, in, in Union Baptist Church. And I had a sermon delivered me from the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. He told me, you either going to serve me or you're going to die. Amen. Yeah. And at that point in time, I pulled out this big screen uh -huh. from my stump. Amen. Yeah. And said, Lord, here am I. I said, listen. Those were there. I stood up and said, I'm going to give my life to Christ. Amen. Scared yeah. my wife so much, she ran up out of church. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ran over to mom's house and said, I don't know what happened to my husband. I think he got saved. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I think he got saved. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you something. I took that 19500 and I gave it to God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And as I began to give God, I had faith. Come on. Uh, I found a job that gave me faith. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Folk were doing things for me Come on. that only God could do. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I ended up getting me a house. And I didn't even know where it came from. Yeah. But God delivered it to me. Yeah. Then he moved me to Tennessee. Yeah. I need to say this today. Come on. Because my stump was still in the ground. Amen. God was trying to bring it out of me. I went to Tennessee. Sister Heidi. Uh -huh. Had quit that little job at that time. Yeah, I was almost up to about 35, 40,000 by then. Yeah. But I quit that job. I said, quit that job. I need you to go to Tennessee. Uh -huh. And I was not promised a job. Yeah. I had a job making five dollars and eighty-five cents an hour, yeah. part time. Wow! Listen to me. You can't tell me what God can't do for wow. you. I went down there. I had the little bit of money I had from when, when I when I quit the job. I, but when me and Sister White left Nashville, she said I had a dream of a little white house, a little picket fence, and black awnings on and all that. And we were going down there. We was almost ready to give up. And we went to West, do West. Yeah. Uh huh. And I said, "There's a roadblock here." And it says, "There's a roadblock." And she said, "We're going through there." <laughs> we went on through there anyway. And right there on the corner was a house. Yeah. Said West, do West. I went to the window, the back door, brother Caleb, and it looked like it was empty. And I said, well, dear, we need to find out who this is so we can find out. He says, so we pushed on the door and the door came open. Mm -hmm. And I knew right then when the door came open, God was saying, come on in. Yeah. Yeah. And as I went in, I found something on there that said who the person was that had the house. Uh -huh. And the man said, <laughs> no, the man said, when, when, when I went to him, he said, I've been looking for somebody. Uh -huh. To take yeah. care of my house. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. And I had eleven hundred dollars worth of bills on five dollars and ninety and seven ninety seven cents, whatever it was. It was five, I went out six. But listen to me. Every month, God met my needs. And around that time, if you remember, the Bosnia War came. Yeah. And I went back to Ohio. They wanted me to work in Ohio because Jeffrey Curry, who was the manager there now, had to leave and go to Bosnia. Mm. Yeah. And he told, they told me, wow, this is during Christmas. My son, told, Justin, told me. I said, son, we're not going to have no Christmas this year. And he looked at me and said, daddy, that's okay. Because I know you love me. And all I need is you and God. Amen. And I cried, Amber. I cried my heart out, Paul, and over that. But I got a phone call that said, I need you to come to Ohio. Yeah. And in fact, when we moved in that house, Mom, Joe, we only had bedroom furniture. We had a counter. We didn't even have a, we didn't have a kitchen table. No furniture, except for one room. And when I left to come back to Ohio, I was driving back and forth from Tennessee to here. What God did, when I went back, after the January, I had eleven thousand dollars. Man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
All I'm saying is that God yes, took the root yes, and he blessed me. Yes, Amen. I gave my life to Christ and Christ gave it all to me. Amen. 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 And there's somebody here today. Your stump is in the ground. Yeah. Your root is underground. Yeah. The dew is working underground. Amen. Uh -huh. And it's not to party sometime when you let go and let God, it's yeah. going to come through. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the trees are going to grow again. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who I was preaching to today. Yeah. I don't even know why I'm sharing that story, but somebody here needs to know. Yeah. That it ain't always been that way for me. It ain't always been that way for Sister Wyatt. Uh -huh. We've been through some things. Huh? I know what it's like to be Pope. Yeah. I didn't say poor, I said Pope. P -O. Amen. <laughs> we ain't always had, but I grew up, hey, you didn't have no two people to a room. You had as many as you can get in that room. Amen. God has been good to me. And it's going to be good to you. Listen to me. Let your root stay in the ground. Amen. Somebody may be here today. Your root. <coughs> God wants to work with That's right. Huh? You got a stump. I know that you have a foundation. But you left your stump in your root somewhere else. You got to go back to that tree. Amen? Because it was at that tree that Christ died for the young God. Once. Oh, 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 oh. 